No, you're fine. Uh, no problem at all. And like I said, uh, you're 20 to 30 over, uh, bumping 30, then it goes back to 20. So I'm hearing you're quite well. I'm doing uh, right around 1,400 watts here and uh, using the loop, of course. Okay, at times you're pushing 40 over, <laughs> 40 over. I tell you what, uh, I'm recording a screen right now. What do you see in the waterfall? It is bright pink, perfect pinstripe going down there. I mean, it, it's crazy. Uh, it's actually something to look at. I'm glad I'm recording a screen right now. Okay, yeah, you're perfect here. Uh, no problem at all. And I did a quick recording of yours as well, so I'll be able to send that to you. But yeah, you're uh, you're perfect here, railroad tracks. Okay, all right, cool. All right, I want to get your uh, receive you. I did not have pure, I mean, uh, noise reduction on. Uh, next time you come back, I uh, will turn noise reduction two on because it is fantastic. And uh, yeah, we'll hear you like that. Just like I said, thanks for getting on here. So I can get a little bit of talk, Tom, and let the, let the tube heat up a little bit, let the equipment heat up a little bit. But uh, let me turn this on noise reduction two on. Yeah, I need to uh, redo mine. I think I full with mine. I had an issue uh, with the settings that it was that it had uh, when I turned Nord Reduction to one. Uh, sounds like people were slightly off frequency. It didn't sound right, so I made a little adjustment on it just by right clicking on it. Then you can make your adjustments. But yeah, I got to, I got to play with mine again one more time to see if I can get it to work a little bit better. Okay. All right. uh, by the way, darn it, in the beginning of this uh, recording here, I didn't have the volume turned all the way up. You were still booming in, but halfway through your last transmit, uh, there I, I turned the volume all the way up. So, uh, yeah, so, yeah, there's a setting for everything in here. Um, yeah, sometimes, yeah, it, things seem to be act a little, uh, a little bit weird. Oh, by the way, speaking of which, do I sound on frequency? I was messing around with the uh, manual adjustment for uh, frequency calibration. I found out, uh, you know, you do the WWV down here it's supposed to put you spot on but during my test uh i thought it was still off a little bit and higher in frequency uh uh and went up like up in 10 meters that the radio was pretty far off i don't know if you're supposed to do that per band or what uh, i i don't know but i had to fine tune it manually uh let me know if i'm uh off or do I, if i sound on no you're fine uh, no issues whatsoever uh you're spot on from what i'm hearing here and right back there to Sabi, and should be a little bit more beefy and a little bit less uh, less reverb, obviously. I, I can barely hear a reverb on my end. And same here. I wasn't hearing the reverb, and like I said, you're 20 over, so uh, it wasn't uh, invasive at all. So I, uh, if it was uh, sharp and stuff, I would have said something, but uh, I'm not hearing it. Okay. All right. Up to right there, I got a... I don't know if I keyed up too quick. Like I said, I'm glad I'm seeing the screen. You'll see when I uh, send you the uh, the video. I also got a um, a new Cat uh, 8 cable in the mail. I'm going to put that in line. Right now, I think mine's Cat 7. I believe, I don't know, I bought it a while ago. But I'm trying to cover all bases here. I got one tiny little sequence area. You'll see it pop up on the screen, pop up yellow. And by the time I look at the screen, it, it went away. But when I go back and watch this video, I'll be able to uh, see, what it, see what it said there. But uh, just trying to work all the bugs out. Like I said, unfortunately, I mean, I had to make all the changes all at once. You know, new computer, all new software, and all the new software came up with their supposed latest and greatest, you know, updates and everything. So, wow, if anything goes a little bit squirrely, it's hard to hard to peg down, you know what I mean? But I'm getting the there. 3D EP. Yeah, I, uh, I have the Cat 8 cable here. And the one I bought uh, for the Anon to communicate with the computer, I bought uh, the flat one. Which is really weird looking. You know, most of them are round, but this one here is flat. Uh, and I kind of like it there. So that's what I'm really, I use in the Cat 8. Okay. Yep. I have a couple flat cables. Yeah, it is kind of weird at first. Um, if you wrap anything through, if they wrap it through ferrite, uh, it gets a little bit tricky. Well, hang on. Let me, hang on. My phone's ringing. Let me mute this. Okay. So far, so good. I don't see anything weird on a screen or anything. Like I said, I'm not doing outrageous power or anything like that. I'm still maintaining about uh, 560 watts right now. And uh, once again, I appreciate you getting on here with me just so I can uh, jibber jabber a little bit. For some reason, my pure signal turned off. I don't know why that is. Hold on here. Yeah, I sent you the quick video. When you get time, you can look at it on your phone of what I'm seeing here 
on the waterfall, which looks pretty good. So at least you have an idea of what, uh, what's going on on my end. Okay. All right. All right. I think I got done. Uh, I'm done jibber jabbered, uh, jibber jabbering here. I want to do a long key down and uh, make sure everything's right. I still have to go through and RF proof everything. Right now, I have things to be stable. I don't, I don't hear any RF getting into my equipment. And I'm watching Thetis very, very closely. Everything seems to be pretty stable. And, uh, you know, right now, I've got the screen capture software running. Obviously, Cakewalk, Thetis, and that's about all right now. But uh, it's all stable. But I appreciate you getting on here for this test done here in 3699. We got to get that Sylvester and them guys get their extra class, get their butts down here. Oh, on the other hand, I suppose I could just go up there and talk to you guys. <laughs> I guess that'd be easier. Yeah, I think uh, maybe a couple of them might be uh, getting ready to uh, do some studying to make that transition. So uh, if they do, that would be pretty nice. Yeah, that would be definitely uh, cool. Like I said, oh, my pure signal popped on again. <laughs> it's random. It does what it wants. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Like when the band's really, really crowded... Like I said, you come down the extra class portion and you get a little bit more breathing room down here. Uh, yeah, a little bit more, a little more space on either side of you. But that would be pretty cool. It's nice. Then you're not limited. You don't have to worry about, uh, you know, extending past your, you know, license privilege. It's, it's pretty cool to have. Yeah, they're talking about uh, putting up some antennas. So they go on 160 this way here. They can, you know, go 8KY with no problem. All right, Ken. All right. Uh, I'm going to maybe scan around, see if the group's up above there. So, and uh, why well, I got this thing turned on. And uh, you get a chance to uh, shoot me that video and I'll watch it. But yeah, you look good here. Uh, sounds good. No problem whatsoever. All right. We'll catch you later. KP from W3DP. We're going to QSY.